Welcome to the monitor display video for the Komatsu WA900-8 wheel loader. The WA900-8 wheel loader has a new and improved display group that includes the machine main monitor, multi-switch panel, and the rear view monitor. At Kion, the starting screen of the main monitor will show a white background with a blue Komatsu logo. This remains for two seconds, during which time the centralized warning lamp lights, the pilot lamp's light, the buzzer sounds, and the tachometer pointer makes one complete sweep. After this, the standard screen is displayed. There is an exception to this monitor startup sequence. If the machine owner has enabled the operator ID feature, then this screen will be displayed after the blue Komatsu logo is flashed. The operator ID system is designed to allow tracking of individual operators in fleets with multiple operators. With this screen displayed, the engine will not crank. The operator uses the blue numeric switches to input his or her ID. When finished, push the enter switch and the standard screen is displayed and the engine can be started. If someone has used the engine shutdown secondary switch, either while the engine is running or before the engine is started, the monitor displays this screen when the key switch is in the on position. The engine will not start when this screen is displayed. Gently shutting the switch cover will force the switch into the off or reset position. The multi-switch panel used for Komatsu wheel loaders has a sealed rubber face cover for durability. The panel has 15 switches. The gray colored switches include the menu switch, the inner switch, the return switch, the up switch, and the down switch. On the top of the panel, the switches are blue in color, and collectively, they control the heat and air conditioner system settings. These blue switches also display numerals, zero through nine, which are used under certain conditions for entering numbers into the monitor system. Accessing the user menu from the main monitor screen is done with the menu switch. With one push of this switch, you will leave the main screen and go to the user menu. Pushing the menu switch again scrolls to each of the tabs on this display from left to right. If you pass a tab you want, just keep pushing the menu switch and you'll come back around again. The user menu now has six tabs that can be accessed, seven if the load meter feature has been enabled. From left to right, these tabs are energy saving guidance, load meter, machine setting and information, after treatment devices regeneration, maintenance, monitor setting, and messages. At the bottom of this display are guidance icons. These are there to help the user understand which switches on the switch panel are currently active. In this screen, the up, down, return, enter, and menu switches are usable. Notice in this screen, pushing the menu switch will cause indexing to the right. It is very easy to access information listed under any tab. First, push the menu switch until you get to the desired tab. Let's say, machine setting and information. Then push the down arrow switch to highlight the information you want to access. Say, semi-auto approach mode selection. Next, push enter to go into the chosen item. In this example, you can change the setting condition of this feature. To get back to the standard screen, push the return switch. As mentioned previously, the blue switches control the heating and air system for cab comfort. The settings can be viewed in the center of the standard screen. Switches 1 and 4 raise and lower the fan speed, while switches 2 and 5 raise and lower the temperatures. This concludes the monitor display video for the Komatsu WA900-8. For more information, please reference the operation and maintenance manual, or contact your local distributor. You may also visit us at www.komatsuamerica.com. Thank you for choosing Komatsu products.